Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mike Bartos Power Center Power Pin. This is the standard length power pin. It is a screw-on type power pin that allows you to load weights. The, the big thing that you see people using this for is doing swing type movements. So you'll load this with some weight and you'll perform some swings. But there's a couple other variations obviously that you can use this for. I wanted to go over some of the variations, price, show you some of the things I like about this one, and give you a recommendation on whether or not you should buy this for your gym. So again, right off the bat, it should be noted that there are two different variations of this one. This is the shorter one. It stands about 11 inches tall to the bottom of the handle, and it has about nine inches of space where you can load weights. Mine I ordered with the spacers, which I'll show you now. But the way that this works is you, the easiest way I found at least is to set it down and just give it a spin and just watch for it to pop off the top. The internal construction is made up of this pin on the inside, the screw. It is a very heavy duty looking screw. I wouldn't be worried about its durability at all. Uh, it's probably like a five eighths inch screw. And then it has the two inch bar stock that's been drilled and then tapped, or died, tapped, one of the two, uh, in order to accommodate this handle screwing on. If you order the spacer kit for the 11 inch handle, what you end up getting is two that are about three inches, one that is about one inch, and one that is about a half inch. These different combinations allow you to stack plates on, and the whole point of the spacers is so that you have no rattle or movement of the plates once it's been loaded onto the handle. So just for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna stick a 25 on here first. So take the 25, drop it on, And basically select the appropriate number of spacers, which for just a 125 pound plate, I threw all the spacers on. I guess it should be noted that you should be careful not to cross thread it, but after using it, I, I'm not concerned. I don't think it's really all that possible. It either starts to thread on or it doesn't. So once you have that on there, there is absolutely zero rattle to this thing at all. This is really nice for especially doing like a swing type movement. So if you do a wide stance swing with this, there's zero chance of the weights really banging around, clanging around. Uh, not that it's really that big of a deal, but I kind of like the secure feeling of this. And then obviously the more plates that you stack on this, the less spacers that you end up using. I actually have had this thing loaded all the way to the point where it was just full of weight. Uh, just to see what it was like and you can get this thing pretty heavy especially if you have power lifting plates so on this end of the handle right here it actually has the number 14 stamped into it which i'm guessing is its weight uh, to be honest i didn't know that notice the 14 until just now and i have yet to actually weigh this thing that i can remember so this thing weighs with the sleeves 16.3 pounds of course, it does have these spacers on there, and the spacers probably do weigh probably two pounds or so. I guess we can find out. So the 14 probably is an indicator of weight. Uh, it's just a little bit off, really not that big of a deal. For branding, it has this MB Power Center sticker that comes across the front end. Uh, I've been using it pretty heavily, and it seems like these stickers that he's using hang on pretty well. So if branding's important to you, it seems like that branding stays on there nicely. One of the things that you're going to notice about my particular sleeve is that I've had it turned down a little bit on a metal lathe. There was actually a reason for this. Uh, when I first got this item, uh, I immediately brought it home and I was excited to use it. And I grabbed my Rogue Machine plates 
which don't have a power lifting tolerance for the center hole, but they are a little bit tighter tolerance than your average plate. And what I found very quickly, and I'll show you a picture, is that none of those plates actually fit onto the power pin, which is incredibly frustrating to me because one, I was really excited to use it, and two, it <clears throat> seems absurd that uh, that would not be a thing. It seems like if you were to make something to take plates, that you would make it to take high tolerance plates like power lifting competition plates or like these machine plates here. But that wasn't necessarily the case. So I messaged Mike Bartos and he got back to me a couple days later and basically what they've done is they've changed the stock material that they make the power pins from. So now even with the powder coating, it's going to take that size plate without any sort of problem at all. And one of the nice things about its powder coating is that it's incredibly durable. So if you buy one of these now, you are going to have it be able to fit onto your competition plates and it's still going to have the powder coating. So you're not going to get the oxidation or the rust or anything like that. That's kind of one of my first critiques about this thing is when you're standing with this and you're trying to do, let's say a swing, what you quickly realize is one, there's about one inch for my hands. Now I don't have huge hands. Now with a traditional kettlebell swing, you're jamming your hands into the middle of the implement. And so when you do your swing, you don't have any issues with it really hitting your thighs. With this, because it's 12 inches, what you find is that you can't do a swing from a standard stance. You actually have to widen out a little bit and bend over. So if that's gonna be a problem for you, or maybe if you're a smaller frame person and you're not willing to stand with a wider stance, this might not be the best piece of equipment for you if your main intent is to do swings with it. But again, as long as you stand with just a wider stance and then do more of a hip hinge through your swing, it's really no problem. When I use this for deadlift warm up, that is the whole point of doing the swing anyways. So it works really nicely for me on that. Of course, swings aren't the only thing that you can do with this. So I'm gonna load a 45 pound plate on here real quick and just kind of take you through a few different things that you can also do. So if you pay attention, you'll notice that I have two high temp branded bumper plates standing right here in front. And with an 11 inch pick height, the three and three quarter inches that these elevate you actually gets you really close to what a standard deadlift would be. So one variation that you can use this for is just to stand on the plates and perform a deadlift, sumo style deadlift. Some things that you should notice when you get to the top, if you're using 45 pound plates, Notice it is hitting my knees. If you use a 25 pound plate, it's not a, as big of a deal. But you can also step these back a little bit. And you can do like a good morning or a stiff legged deadlift. Not really a good morning. You can do a stiff legged deadlift. You can do swings with this. You can also elevate this all the way up and you can do i think it's like a bulgarian deadlift or some other weird deadlift variation where basically you are reaching into a deficit to do a pull this is the shorter of the two pins and i tend to participate in strongman activities a lot one of the things i know that this is not going to work well for if you are in strongman is doing like a duck walk medley it's not going to work well for you because when you pick this thing up you would have to duck walk so wide because of how short the pin is. Also note though, there are two different variations of this item and the other one is longer. And I think the other one would be significantly better if you're a competitive strongman because of how much taller it is. But two different options. This one I think is probably better for doing swings or for doing deadlift style training if you want to pull from a deficit. The other one is probably better for doing duck walk, but I really don't see any other advantages beyond just doing duck walk. Another thing to note about this is you can use it just like a standard loading pin if you really wanted to. So you just take like a strap, like this one's from Rogue, 
wrap it around, get a second one, wrap it around the other handle. And in a pinch, you can use this thing on like a cable setup to do poles. So if you can imagine that this is a cable setup, basically just reaching down and it would work well. So if you don't have a loading pin, but you need one to do a movement, this could be a potential solution, a single item that you purchase that can perform multiple things. So one thing that I think could be really cool is if Mike Bartos was to release a screw on end that is just an eye hook, like an eyelet. So remove the handle, give the exact same bolt, the exact same cup here so you can tighten up the load and then just put like an eye hook up at the top. This could potentially allow you to open it up to be used as a power pin as well. It's kind of, meh, whatever, like it's just go buy like a $20 power pin, but if you don't wanna have all of that equipment kind of sitting around your gym because power pins and loading pins and all these different types of pins, you got duck walk implement pins. Uh, if you don't want all that stuff floating around your house, floating around your gym, uh, just have one thing that does all of them. So potentially, I'm sure that if you were to, to email or direct message Mike Bartos on Instagram, that he would definitely be able to accommodate that kind of a request. But it might be cool as well just to offer something like a $20 topper. Uh, I would buy it because I would definitely use it. Uh, but different handle attachments could be kind of cool, just something for the future. So whether it's an eye hook, different style of handles, so maybe put on like block style handles. What we've gone over up to this point. So right out of the box, mine didn't actually accept the sleeves. I did reach out to Mike and he changed the product, which is really cool that he changed the product. It wasn't just me that was having issues. It was a low number of people that were having issues. But the fact that Mike Bartos was able to actually change his product based on the feedback that he got from the field, that shows a lot about who he is, the kind of company he's trying to run, the equipment that he's manufacturing. So that's a positive. Uh, I love the handle thickness. Personally, I think it's a really solid feeling handle. Like usual, the powder coat is just beautiful and nice, and for doing swings, it's great, especially when you're out here right now in the Texas summer, and you're getting really sweaty because it's hot as hell, and you're doing like 100 swings. This handle is definitely easy to hang on to. Just a little bit of chalk is all you need. I like the spacers. I think that they're a really cool option. I like the idea of securing the load down so that it doesn't rattle. Does it matter? Not really, it doesn't really matter. But especially for doing swings, it just gives me a little bit extra sense of security that I want. I love that the pin itself is made out of solid stock. I think that in order for it to actually uh, accept the threads from this handle, that that's a must, obviously, because the alternative is that you're gonna be welding in some sort of nut on the inside, and that would just be not as secure, not as durable, especially when you think you know, I, I was swinging this thing with 150 pounds the other day. Do you really want some nut welded into the end of a, a Schedule 80 tube be the only thing that's holding that from swinging out and hitting whoever is in front of you or whatever is in front of you? The bar stock is definitely a good way to go. I like the construction of everything. The welds are super clean. I'll show you. The welds are super clean. It's just, they're nice. Like. Bartos obviously cares about his products and everything that he puts out, and I have yet to have any sort of flaw, other than the shaft being the wrong diameter, but like I said, he fixed it. But I, I mean, I really don't see any other real flaws to the item itself. The handle length is a little bit long. Like I said, now for my hands, uh, I could lose a little bit of length and still be okay. If you've got bigger hands though, you're not gonna be able to sacrifice that and I will say that for swings, I'd like this significantly better than jamming both of my mitts inside of a kettlebell handle. So for me, I really appreciate this. But I can also understand some people, especially like I said, the smaller frame people that maybe wouldn't appreciate such a wide handle because they're gonna be hitting themselves in the thigh. The length is not good for doing any sort of strongman duck walk type movement, but for doing deadlifts, for doing swings, it's perfect. It's got enough sleeve that you can load it to the weight that you need to actually perform the movement, unless you're using bumpers, in which case you might run out of space real quick, but not so much that you have extra travel for no reason. 
I really do think that if you're doing swings with a longer handle, a lot of people will be finding that they're going to be hitting the ground a whole bunch, unless you're like six foot eight or something, in which case, I mean, yeah. And now for the final bit, which is price. So this pin with no spacers, so this pin configured like this, coming with no spacers and obviously a powder coated shaft is going to run you $95 plus shipping. When you include the spacers, that amps it up to $109, which really isn't that big of a jump. It's about 14 bucks. So 14 bucks will get you the spacers, which I think are worth it 100%. If you want to get the longer one, get the longer one as well. Just understand that the longer one is better for doing movements that don't involve swinging. So if you're going to be swinging this implement, I'm 5'11", and I find that this works well for my height for doing swings. I really do feel like any longer than this, and you're going to start to run into issues. And like I said, I'm 5'11". There's people that are shorter than me that may want to use this tool. Do I think it's worth it? I really do. Uh, if you look at other similar items, there's one on Elite FTS where it has three different height positions that you can stick the handle in. It doesn't have spacers and it runs 150 bucks. If you look at the power pins that are available on Rogue Fitness or on Titan, so on Titan you can get them for pretty cheap for like 40 bucks, but on Rogue Fitness you're getting an item that fits together a little bit more sloppy. Yes, it has adjustable heights, but it doesn't have spacers and that's gonna run you over $100 as well. So do I think this is worth it? I 100% do think it's worth it, especially since it ships in a flat rate box, I'm pretty sure. So shipping actually is not that much. So I would definitely say to get it, if you're thinking about getting a pin. Now again, some of the things from Mike, like hey Mike, make a, a, like a loop ring attachment for this. Make different handle attachments. Maybe that's something that people would like to have, maybe different a square grip, maybe a three inch grip, maybe just off from. I'm not sure what's actually, I'm not sure how viable that is to, to make money from a business perspective, but if you wanted to expand on your power pins, I really think that just having different screw on handles, whether square, round, rings, insert, whatever you want to do here, I would definitely buy that. And depending on the price, you know, you might end up with a whole array of handles. So that's been my review of the Mike Bartos Power Center Power Pin. Let me know what you think down below. Do you agree? Do you think it's worth it? I understand if you don't. Some people just don't need a power pin. Some people, it might be a deal killer that the handles are so wide. I think it's a, worth, a worthwhile piece of equipment to own. But again, let me know what you think. Please also watch some of my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.